We begin with a new movement on a bold vision for the future of downtown Cincinnati. Local leaders meet today to share their plans for Fort Washington Way and a project that would provide a new gathering space. Courtney Wheaton joins us live now with how it could become a reality. Hi, Courtney. Hi guys, this new project would cover this portion of I-71 right behind me. So on top you would see four blocks of green space and local leaders say we could use that for big celebrations like Oktoberfest if they get what they want. 20 years ago, county leaders made an important decision which might finally pay off. Uh, the county had the forethought in the late 90s, early 2000s to invest in infrastructure that allowed us to build on top of Fort Washington Way. Who would think of that? I can only imagine that these private business leaders said that depending on the government, there could be all kind of delays and red tape, but we're gonna move forward with what we need to do. The foundation now at the center of a project to add decks over Fort Washington Way. KZF Design says it would create four city blocks of green space over I-71. The possibilities are endless. There's opportunity here for large events, for daily events, for recreational events, uh, if you have that framework of an open space. The city is partnering with the county to apply for federal grant money under the bipartisan infrastructure law. It would provide up to $2 million to plan and get the project rolling. The mayor says the time to act is now. This is a unique once in a generation opportunity to have the funds to do the projects that we've all been dreaming of. These huge civic projects that not only will help the central business district, but also help communities that have been negatively impacted by our uh, infrastructure from the past. Yeah, guys, and I don't know if you can hear out here how loud it is, but that's something they addressed during the meeting today. And they also talked about removing the exhaust so people could stay safe. Now, the deadline to apply for that grant is actually October 13th, and it would cost about $100 million to complete this project. In downtown, Courtney Wheaton, Local 12 News. All right, Courtney, thank you. Pureval says that they're looking at the area between Race and Walnut over I-71, and they'll seek input from the community about what people would like to see there. The planning and grant process is expected to take about 18 months. There's no estimated timeline for the full project.